Your Word is Your Wand. This audiobook brought to you by Love and Money Secrets TV. Dame Lillian Walker shares the teachings of Florence Scovel Shin. Audiobook and text. Your word is your wand. Man's word is his wand filled with magic and power. Jesus Christ emphasized the power of the word. By thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And death and life are in the power of the tongue. So man has to change an unhappy condition by waving over it the wand of his word. In the place of sorrow appears joy. In the place of sickness appears health. In the place of lack appears plenty. For example, a woman came for a treatment for prosperity. She possessed just two dollars in the world. I said, we bless the two dollars and know that you have the magic purse of the spirit. It can never be depleted. As money goes out, immediately money comes in, under grace and perfect ways. I see it always crammed, jammed with money. Yellow bills, green bills, pink checks, blue checks, white checks, gold, silver, and currency. I see it bulging with abundance. She replied, I feel my bag heavy with money and was so filled with faith that she gave me one of her dollars as a love offering. I did not dare refuse it and see lack for her, as it was important that I hold the picture of plenty. Shortly afterwards, she was made a gift of $6,000. Fearless faith and the spoken word brought it to pass. The affirmation of the magic purse is very powerful, as it brings a vivid picture to the mind. It is impossible not to see your purse or wallet filled with money when using the words crammed, jammed. The imaging faculty is a creative faculty and it is important to choose words which bring a flash of the fulfillment of the demand. Never force a picture by visualizing. Let the divine idea flash into your conscious mind. Then the student is working according to the divine design. See how to play the game of life, the ultimate secret. Jesus Christ said, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. This means that man must know the truth of every situation which confronts him. There is no truth in lack or limitation. He waves over it the wand of his word and the wilderness rejoices and blossoms as the rose. Fear, doubt, anxiety, anger, resentment pull down the cells of the body, shock the nervous system and are the causes of disease and disaster. Happiness and health must be earned by absolute control of the emotional nature. Power moves, but is never moved. When man stands calm and serene, has a good appetite, feels contented and happy, when appearances are against him, he has reached mastery. Then he has the power to rebuke the winds and the waves to control his conditions. His word is his wand, and he transmutes apparent failure into success. He knows his universal supply is endless and immediate, and all his needs manifest instantly on the external. For example, a woman at sea awoke in the morning hearing the fog horns blowing. A dense fog had settled on the ocean with no apparent signs of clearing. She immediately spoke the word. There are no fogs in divine mind. So let the fog be lifted. I give thanks for the sun. Soon the sun came out, for man has dominion over the elements, over all created things. Every man has power to lift the fog in his life. It may be a fog of lack of money, love, or happiness, or health. Give thanks for the sun. Remember to see How to Play the Game of Life audiobook the ultimate secret.